What is going on guys? So today I wanted to show you the, uh, this is the Shardor Anti-Static Conical Burr Coffee Grinder. So this is a, a hopper style coffee grinder designed, you can put a bunch of coffee in the top. Um, it's got a bunch of different, it's got 35 different custom grind selections. So you can actually just customize, you know, the specific grind that you like for your coffee uh, whenever you like it. So um, there's all sorts of stuff on here, but I'm just gonna show you guys what you get in the box and then give you guys kind of a look at it uh, once it's out of the box. So in the box packaging, we're gonna get the instruction manual, just like that. Um, we're gonna slide the box. There's a box in a box. Let's open this guy up here. We'll move that box over there. Let's open this up and actually see what we get as far as the packaging goes. So really well packed. You guys can see it's very secure in here, covered in plastic. Uh, so when it ships, so looks like we have the actual hopper itself. So this is where you're gonna actually store your beans uh, in the very top up here. This is where the, the hopper where you're gonna actually put the beans uh, when you're loading it up. So we'll look at that here in a second. But let's slide out the rest of it here. So opening this up, we got more cardboard, we got more plastic. Okay, I think that's it. Let me just double check. Yep, we're good to go. That's everything that's in the box there. So this is the actual grinding unit itself. So as you can see, uh, it's got a power plug right here. It's gonna plug in. Uh, this little guy looks like it just sits right up here on top, just like so, locks into place um, like that. So that's all good to go there. Um, we pull this out here. This is where it's going to actually capture your ground coffee. So when you're grinding your coffee, it's gonna capture it in here. What's really neat is that you can actually grind a bunch of coffee and it's got this lid here um, that can kind of, it's got a fresh safe. You can kind of pop this closed and, and like seal it up and store it. So you can kind of, um, you can put it up in a cabinet and things like that. So pretty cool design, but it shows you, uh, kind of has a max line on here that shows you when you're full. Um, but as you guys can see, um, when you get a little bit closer, let me pull you in closer here really quick. But as you guys can see, you've got all sorts of selections up here on top, right? So this is all your different coffee dips. You've got your different, um, your settings up here for, um, it kind of tells you, you know, you kind of adjust the setting here to determine which, um, which, you know, which there's a little arrow right here on the bottom. Um, and it shows you that it's French press. Um, it's got a range of different levels for French press. You've got drip pour over, and then you've got espresso grind, and you can just kind of adjust this to really kind of fine tune the grind that you're looking for. And then you just press the button and fire it up. So let me get some coffee in here, and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so following the instructions, we've got this lid kind of set the way that we need it to right here. So this is going to be the hopper where we're gonna put the coffee. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna take some whole bean coffee here. This is just regular coffee. This is what we use uh, daily for our drip. So we're gonna go ahead and fill up the hopper like this. Just like that. You can kind of fill it up, which is nice. Um, and it's gonna use as much as you need based on a couple different settings. So let me show you how that works here. Um, we're gonna take these and we'll put this guy right here just like this, okay? So now we got the full hopper. What we're gonna do, this selector here determines how many cups of coffee you need to be, uh, to be ground, which is pretty cool. So um, this is how you basically are going to determine the number of, uh, of cups that you need. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make sure, let's see, that we selected the number. So we're gonna do six cups of coffee, which is what we do in the morning. I'm gonna go with the middle of the road here. So I'm gonna set it to number 20, which is going to be the grind amount, right? So we got that going there. I got it plugged in. Uh, let me just make sure I'm following the instructions here to kind of give you guys an idea of how this actually works. Um, and then I think what we'll do, I'm not sure if we actually put the lid over the top here. I think what we do is we actually open this, this little rubberized lid up here and we put this guy in here like that, um, which is gonna connect the two, yeah, because then they seal together and then we should hit start. There we have it. So it's done there. As you guys can see, it only used what it needed to to, to get the right amount uh, that I asked for in the right drip that I looked for. So we're gonna pull this guy out here just like that. And let's see if I can show this to you inside there. There is my coffee 
uh, perfectly ground to the specification that I set. Now, I mean, it's probably gonna take me a couple of times to make sure that I get the grind right, but what's really cool is that it's all ground and it's ready to go. And so I can just seal this up if I want to and have it ready for the morning. It's gonna keep it fresh um, and I'm all set and ready to go. So super easy to use. I love this hopper feature that I can actually just load up with a bunch of coffee and I don't need to think about it. Um, and I can use this to make two copies if I want, uh, to, you know, two cups of coffee if I want, four, six, all the way up to 12. And I have just so many different ways to go about doing it and I can change the coffee. So really, really cool device. Seems really easy to use and it worked really, really well. Um, so guys, if you're looking for something like this, definitely consider checking out the, uh, the Shardor uh, anti-static Burr coffee grinder. It seems like it's a pretty, it's a pretty slick little device. But as usual, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and I'll see you in the next one.